right we are live now good morning uh, see today news people I am standing here right now at the Indonesian Navy Yard uh, at Tanjung Priuk it's the home base of the first fleet and we've got a special guest here today all right here we go we'll show you and there she is the KRI Dewa Ruchi so we are lucky to see the Dewa Ruchi here and just to emphasize this is not a museum it is a very active naval vessel it serves in the Indonesian second fleet uh, based in Surabaya so we're lucky uh, to get to see it right here in Jakarta all right okay so of course when you see it from up here the masts that you see the yellow masts that dominates the landscape around here I mean look at it you look around here and then you can see it's very colorful it looks amazing from down here all right we'll we'll talk about those masts again later but Anyway, this boat was built in 1953, so that makes it 67 years old. In fact, um, in 24 January, which is next week, it, that will be its 68th birthday, its 68th year since its launching. So that's very old. All right, so. The Devaruchi is here only for a few days and as a matter of fact there is a photo competition happening right now that's why you see a lot of friends here uh, trying to take uh, the best picture of Kairi Devaruchi I mean look at it it's great isn't it it's gorgeous So talking about the ship again, it was built in 1953 and it has served in the Indonesian Navy for 68 years and it has many, many accomplishments as you believe. It has circumnavigated the world twice. That was back in uh, a long time ago. The last one was in 2012. Can you believe it? Around the world on a boat like this. Right, let's hop in on board. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One <egg. laughs> okay, you, you have a lot of guests there. All right, so this is how you board the ship. Life, Selamat pagi, Pak. Oke, okay. good morning. That's part of the crew. <laughs> Oke, okay, terima kasih, Pak. Kita boleh muter ya, Pak? Boleh, silakan. Uh, all right. So there you go. We have the permission to board the ship and take a tour. And this is it. This is it. I mean, look at it. It takes you back how many years? Uh, it is mainly a sailing ship. Uh, it is used uh, for a few missions. Uh, mainly uh, to train the cadets because this is a very uh, uh, old ship uh, sailing ship it teaches them how to uh, sail like the older days all right okay so we were talking about those masts the three masts that are here there's one two and three and each of them has a theme this one is themed Sumatra Barat or Western Sumatra okay so that's because this represents the western part of Indonesia now let's take a look at the second one okay this one is themed central Java which represents the central part of Indonesia There's one back there. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about this bell. You probably heard my report before, but it was very hard to hear it. Uh, so give it a swing. <laughs> all right. 
So this is the bell that was from 1953 and what's unique here is the crack right here. So this is not made up. This is 68 years of service of clanging on, banging on and that's the result of it. All right. But then uh, it is still used today, although the sound it isn't, maybe isn't as good but it is still very much in use. Okay. Pak, selamat pagi, Pak. Okay, and we're talking about the third mast right here. This is Toraja. So now you saw the three masts, which are there, are there. and they represent the each part of Indonesia, uh, each Indonesian timeline, Western, Central, and Eastern, which is the very main thing about this ship. Uh, it embodies it embodies the very essence of this country. <laughs> okay, so this is the control wheel of the ship. And you can see it's very much as it was when it was launched back in 1953. It's all just cables and ties right here. And you steer it this way, although it does have some help with some modern navigation right there Alright, so this is the bridge and Pak, kita nyapa ya Pak. <laughs> and this is our ship commander. Hello. Good Bapak morning. Commander Hastaria. Yes, enjoy yourself. Thank you, Thank you sir. Okay, as you can see, it is an old boat, but it does have uh, the modern navigation system like this. These are modern uh, GPS, and you can see here marine radar equipment. And even though it's a sailing ship, it does have a motor. It does have a diesel engine uh, down at the bottom there. So I was talking to the crew just then, they use it to get out uh, to sea. And then once they're at sea, that's when they put on the sails and then they start sailing away, which is great. Okay. Oh. Okay, so uh, let's take a look inside. <laughs> That's our cameraman, by the way, Oswald Nainggolan. Please say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, there's a door here. Okay, this goes back outside. There's a view from out there. Okay, but kita mau ke bawah. Minta dilampuin ya. Okay, so let's go down below decks. And the main stairwell of this boat is filled with uh, these are filled on the walls just for, for uh, plaques from all the places that uh, they have visited. Okay, you see here a uh, yacht clubs from all over the world. Okay, can you bring Okay, there you go. Fills it up all over the place here. Okay. Okay, let's take a look downstairs. So let's go down. This is the first floor below deck. Now bear in mind, it is quite narrow here. Selamat pagi Pak. Izin Pak ya, mau lihat kamar VIP. Alright, let's open this door. And we are at the VIP room. Alright. Okay, I can say that this is the best room in the boat. Uh, it looks amazing here. And well, if you've seen movies where there are uh, sailing boats, you'll always see that the officers or the captain's uh, quarters is at the back 
of the ship because it is the widest and uh, they say it's the most stable one and here it is all right okay now uh, as we've seen on the staircase just then what's most special about this boat are all these plaques that are around here now i asked the uh, naval officer that was here which of these plaques are most special and he said they're all very special and, and they are very special indeed you have here a uh, award from the uh, united states naval academy by sent that's also from the united states this from is from from korea uh, these are domestic ones kingdom of saudi arabia mexico can you believe that all the way from indonesia so the naval officer i was talking to before um he said that uh he can't say which one of these are the most special ones because not all indonesian navy ships have the ability or or the uh ability to go to other countries and this is one of those many vessels which do have the chance to visit many countries and this is the evidence the evidence of that 68 years of service can you believe that let's see it's from bali I hope that's enough tour for you in the VIP room. Let's go to the next quarters. Yeah. See ya, Pak. Bisa ke sini, Pak? Ya. Selamat pagi, Pak. Wah, kita lagi live. Enggak apa-apa, Pak. Silakan. Kita lagi live in sana. Monggo, Pak. So this is the uh... Kenang makan. Siap. Oh, siap. Kita siapkan makan. Terima kasih. Makan. Ada apa nih, Pak? Oh, kita yang masak set-set dari Angkatan Laut ini. Look at that. That's a specialty of the Navy right there. Oh, look at that. So this is the uh, officers uh, dining quarters. Okay, as you can see, uh, it is very nice here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the multimedia room there. Okay, and there's a message from uh, President Joko Widodo in uh, 2016 di Laut Tersimpan Harapan di Laut Tersimpan Kejayaan Jales Viva Jaya Mahe the motto of the Navy at sea we are great okay we have a plaque here as well showing the uh, Kairi Dewaruji's achievement on the 2012 circumnavigation in the world you can see they left indonesia here bound to the east and they were all the way there honolulu san diego down through the panama canal new orleans miami savannah baltimore uh, so if you do that cross the atlantic down to portugal malta and then down the suez canal down to the persian gulf Indian Ocean, India, and then back to Indonesia. Look at that. 70, a crew of 77 people. That's a great achievement right there. Okay. You? Okay, let's take you to the next one. Okay, selamat pagi, Pak. Ini ruang apa, Pak? Pantry? Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. So this is the pantry where they serve uh, food and refreshments for the officers on the deck. Uh, this is the plaque of all the uh, commanding officers of Kari Dewaruchi. Uh, we met just then before. Commander Hastaria is on service today. And yeah, it's been down all the way down first captain in 1953 was captain 
Rushnau. I hope I said that right. Um, he is an uh, Indonesian, a German descendant, who handed down the ship to Indonesia. And then it goes all the way down. Oh, sorry. Yep, that's more than 40 captains. All right, on to the next one. All right. So this is the officer's quarters. Okay, then we got a... Right here, the operations officer. This is the deck officer. You can see it is quite cramped. Okay, and we have classes here as well. Yeah. This is the chief officer's chambers, and this is the yep, commanding training officer. And this is the heart of the ship right here, the engine room. Okay, so. That one you see in green color there is a diesel engine. It has a diesel engine that can power the boat up to about 10 knots. Uh, they usually use it to get out of port or get into port just for easier maneuver. And then once at sea, uh, they switch it off and go back to sails. And then they sail like the old days. We can take you down there, but we tested it. We're gonna lose connection if we take you down there, but you can see from up here, it is pretty serious. So the uh, engine that you hear right now is of course a generator that powers the whole, uh, the whole ship. Electricity and air conditioning is on full swing here. Otherwise, you won't be able to breathe. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. See how funny. These are the sleeping quarters for the cadets right here. What? Berapa pak? Adi? Okay. It houses 70 bunks around here. But bear in mind, it is AC, so it is quite livable. Now you can see it is quite cramped in here, and being a boat of of about. 85 meters long the officers here say that even one meter waves can make this boat rock so you have to have a strong stomach to sail in this kind of you know, vessel Some snacks here for still. Oh, that looks very good. <laughs> okay. Next, kita bisa lihat nextnya. Kata, bapa duluan, nggak apa-apa.
Lagi Selamat pagi And this is the Galley <laughs> Things are really cooking here Masak apa nih pak? Baik Masak apa masker dulu pak? Oh siap <laughs> Things are really cooking in here. Okay, Pak. Selamat masak, Pak. Terima kasih. Let's work. This is the view of the outside again. Okay, next one. Okay. Okay. Permisi ya Pak, maaf Pagi Pak Or 
circumstances, these tents are not gonna be here. These are here only because there was an occasion uh, yesterday here at the Naval Yard, but usually it's not there. It's a full-on warboat. Whenever they pass the equator, the gods of the seas from the equator would come out to the boat and ask for a blessing from the crew. And in that moment, the crew would bathe themselves uh, with water and also with ship oil. Yes, shipping oil. That's true. Uh, just as a tradition on Kairi de Waruchi. <laughs> That's a good question right there. However, we're not going to see that today, right now, because it is on board. But that tradition still lives on as long as the ship still sails. Alright. Okay, <laughs> okay, well, there, there it is. Still Baltimore. That's where they went. Both the lifeboats are placed in the back. Well, hopefully, they won't have to use that at all. didn't have these tents it would be very hot here <laughs> okay right let's go to the front of the ship <laughs> all right let's get a front view right here it is. God, that looks great, doesn't it? Have here our editor in chief, Ibu Aderia, Hi. is here on board with us. Okay, we need to try that stair. Okay, let's and then try. I will hold this phone okay. for you. Try how to become a, a naval officer. <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> yeah, don't go too high. <laughs> Picture of Weeby. <laughs> Use my. Like lagi apa? Hati-hati pak. Okay. No, 
not too high. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's not right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. A lot of people taking a picture of you. <laughs> You're famous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. Okay. Give us your best pose. <laughs> yeah. Chief. <laughs> okay, so wait, we first we got a question about Dewaruchi, uh, Dewaruchi's name. So before we close this, let's, uh, let's talk about that first. Okay, here it is, KRI Dewaruchi, and its motto: Cita Cita Akal Budi Berani, Jujur Guna Bakti. So the key words here, berani and jujur, honest, honesty and bravery. Now this tells the story of Bima, the man in the picture right here. <laughs> he was tasked to find the essence of life, the water of life. And throughout that journey, just like in the Lord of the Rings, he faced a lot of obstacles and he only prevailed when he was true and he was brave. And that is the essence of KRI Dewaruchi. All right. Okay. Tarpa, introduction dulu ya. We have <laughs> We have Mr. Julius. <laughs> uh, so this is the plaque of the shipyard Stolken Zone. In Germany, 1953. Now, a little bit of the history: the vessel itself was built in 1932, but because of the war, it was stopped. They redid it again and launched it in 1953. All right. So, uh, I guess that's it for the tour. Uh, hopefully, we can spend a little more time in this. If you have a chance to uh, come here and see this for yourself, do come. It is an experience. It looks great. It's an ode to uh, Indonesian history, Indonesian maritime history. And you gotta see it in person because uh, the pictures that I'm showing you right now just, uh, just don't give it justification. Alright, well that's it for today's report. Hopefully I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much for watching guys. Bye bye.